What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to Two Minutes with T and Shemaine, and we're excited to be back with you for another week. It's it's our prayer. It's our hope that these videos are somehow helping you all to have God-centered, exciting, long-lasting marriages. So often, uh, when we are kind of preparing for these, it's just the idea we love to talk about marriages. We ask people, Yo, what do you think it, it, it takes to have a long-lasting a marriage that will go the distance where you're 90, 100 years old and still looking each other in the eyes. Yeah. We, we usually get uh, a, uh, just an array of responses. Mm -hmm. We get um, whether they're single, dating, or even married. We get a bunch of mixing. Some people say, well, you you, you got to be uh, in love. You got to stay in love. Some people say that you got to maintain great communication. And I, all those things are great. Some people would say, well, we need to travel together. We need to see the world together. And that's great as well. Some people say, we, we got to have a, a healthy the financial uh, yeah. life and, and not nothing wrong with those things but one of the most overlooked ingredients to a long-lasting marriage is this word called grit yeah uh, when you when you get around couples that's 60 70 years old they, they start telling stories they start sharing things that describes grit so what is grit in a marriage because it's definitely needed to sustain because you're gonna overcome some things, you're gonna come against some things that you didn't plan on uh, seeing in your marriage, but yet it's gonna come your way and you're gonna have to have this thing called grit, which is the, some things that are um, kind of in line with grit is perseverance, yeah. continuing to climb up that mountain together, not separate, but together, even when you come amongst obstacles and things that seem impossible, you gotta have grit and staying in there regardless what it looks like. The other thing you want to have is you want to have endurance you want to endure those failures together you want to embrace them and see that they are something that is working out for your good instead of something that's happened happening to you yeah. the other thing you want to do is recognize that failing is just a part of the process in Proverbs it speaks of them falling seven times and getting back up and Jesus will Jesus Christ will restore your strength he will restore your marriage if you do not give up you're gonna make so many choices Choices in life so many choices so many really important choices in life but the best choice that you can make is sticking in there and helping your marriage maintain a strong relationship where you're there for one another and you deal with the problems together don't run away from your problems address those problems head-on because when you address those problems head-on you are going to develop grit and your marriage is gonna go places that you just Wow, it's gonna amaze you. Yeah, yeah. so so we we heard and I think read about a couple uh, that when asked, man, how did you make it all the way in all of these years together? Yes. Uh, the husband responded, and I think this is just a true definition of grit. I just kept coming home. So we want to encourage you guys. Let's incorporate yes. some grit in our marriages. We're believing and praying for God to do some amazing things. See you guys yes. next week. Do us a huge favor. Hit the share button, the like, and even drop a comment.